Our next question, Jim, sent to Courtney Drive through at gmail.com from Greg in Canton, Ohio. During the March 29th, 1986 episode of WCW Wrestling. Oh Rick- boy, this already sounds pretty specific. Ricky Morton and Ric Flair had a classic confrontation. Before the confrontation, Flair could be heard saying that he heard that, quote, Gibson put the rock in rock and roll. Was this a reference to the legendary size of Robert Gibson's manhood? (laughs) Thank you and take care. Yes, it was. Who can actually wrap the little boy, the little fella, around his wrist like a wristwatch? And I'm guessing he must have done this for many people. Oh, constantly, yes. No, that's a thing. I mean, you know, Cena had giant a giant ball sack so he used to do the flying squirrel but who what even soft his dick is about a foot long so he would do the wristwatch where he'd wrap it around his fucking wrist and check the time forgive me but what is the giant squirrel the flying squirrel the flying squirrel as we take the corners of your nut sack and pull it up into a point so that the head of the dick peeps over and it looks like a flying squirrel but you got to have a massive nut sack to do that so cena was the flying squirrel Well, while we're paying tribute to Robert Gibson, I recently saw on Twitter that they announced this will be the last year of the Rock and Roll Express. What are your thoughts about the idea that it looks like Robert Gibson may actually be winding down his in-ring career finally? Well, I mean, it's not... It's it's sad that the Rock and Roll can't go 100 years. Uh, Because they've made, what, 1983 to... They've made it... 39 this year. He ought to stick around. Maybe he'll stick around till January next year just to make it 40. Uh, but I mean, you can't, you can't blame him. He's if Robert got into business when he was 18, just turned 18. He might've started wrestling before that when he was 17 down in the Pensacola territory. I don't know, but I saw him teaming with Ricky here in fall of 1976 is when I first met him and he was 18 years. He had just turned 18. So he's been doing this for 46 years. And it's not like that either he or Ricky, you know, worked big man style and didn't fucking take bumps and didn't, you know, work hard and, and et cetera. So that's a lot of wear and tear. So, I mean, you know, I don't know whether Ricky will ever retire at this point just because he's a fucking freak of nature, but I'm not surprised that Robert would be, how old is he? Uh, 18 from 76, 46. He's almost 65, give or take a year or two. So not give, but take. He's, he's either 63 or 64. So I'm not surprised by that, that he'd want to wind it down at this point. I just, You know, you hate to see that because they've made it this far. Holy fuck. Who would have thought? 